you bitch. Where are you going? Running like a little bitch. I don't have nothing to do with my kids. See, first, you with nigga that spoke on my babies. Second, you produce a song where a nigga said he would throw my babies in the trash. So let's get that out the goddamn me. Wait. You listen to fucking Young Fazo, your opinion does not matter. Quit speaking on shit. Y'all niggas do not know music. Why are you trying to cop a plea, you act like, nigga, you act like me and you. Why are you nigga, trying fuck. to reason out, though? You a no reason, bro. Underground rap beef gets wild. There are no morals, no standards, and no rules when it comes down to beef. And I'm about to show y'all just how crazy it can get. Underneath the Ken Carson post, a fan had tagged Can Can, who's another underground rapper. Ken basically said that Can Can is just biting his sound. Can Can will respond through an Instagram story. I could take his home. Nigga, fuck Ken Carson, fuck. bitch. You figured I got my own yeah, way. Fuck his fuck his he not do enough. Broke ass nigga. And even though the beef stayed completely on the internet, the fans ate that shit up. And let me tell y'all, first and foremost, underground fans will be some of the most rabid fans in all of rap. They will ride and die for their favorite artist. It is actually insane. Some of these rappers deal with mental issues as a result of their fans constantly bullying them or insulting them or and just in general being some awful weird people. Then we got Yapo JJ coming out of nowhere dissing Young Fazo. Young Fazo ain't even do nothing. If you listen to fucking Young Fazo, your opinion does not matter. Quit speaking on shit. Y'all need do not know music. Young Fazo is kind of like the punching bag of the underground. Well, him and Netspin, because everyone clowns on them for making trash music. The next beef we got on our hands is one involving Slime Cito and Jace. Now, a fan DM'd Slime Cito one day and asked him if he would ever do a song with Jace. Slime Cito would respond with, El Jefe can't collab with a rat, which El Jefe is his nickname. And you want to know how bro responds? He turns up his Intimidator badge to Hall of Fame and embraces all of the Black Air Force energy possible. Everybody, like, I never talk about y'all. I never want to work with y'all. Nigga, you're not even in my top 50 of who I listen to. I can't even name a Slime Cito song. Why do y'all keep saying, I can't collab with him, he's a rat? Nigga, I don't want to collab with you either way. Focus on getting your career up. What's your biggest song? What's your biggest song? Fuck nigga, leave me out your motherfucking mouth, bitch ass boy. Don't get no fuck nigga. You been rapping for who knows how long? Bro, hang it up. It's time to hang it up. No wonder you ain't getting big, my nigga. If I go to your Instagram right now and check your stats, I wonder how many likes you get on your pictures. Man, Bro, shut that shit up. And then out of nowhere, like a RKO, Saya just jumps into the beef. Telling people that he got arrested for armed robbery and how he should focus on his kids and things of that nature. And simply put, right after that, all hell broke loose the next time Jace got on live. Fans started tagging Saya and telling Jace to put him in the chat and I'm gonna roll the clip. Team tag him. Here we go again. The charge you got you told and it was armed robbery. What you saying? But you a rat, dude. If I was a rat or if I wasn't a rat, why are you speaking on me? Cause you a rat, that's why. Tell I me mean, what it got to do with you. Cause I don't like you, nigga. What? So you speak on me? Yeah, damn right. You see me. Show me your crib. Nigga, why? Why? What the fuck? I'm in the apartment, toy. That's where I'm at. Yo, what you mean? Show me your paperwork. Clear your name. You bro. Show me your paperwork. You signed the deal. You ain't just run that up off no street. You ain't run that off off no selling drugs. I've selling been drugs. signed that. for three years. Okay, wait till I sign my deal. You can't call me bro till I sign my deal. That you ain't bro. Side. That ain't what we doing. You a rat though. On some real street. You you sassy. We not talking about street shit. I never call myself a gangster. I'm not a gangster. I'm a father. Hold on, shut the fuck up. Oh, oh, hey, bro, boy, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm a father before I'm a gangster. I'm telling y'all, man, underground rap beef be like the WWE. You never know what's gonna happen. Just when you think you've heard or seen it all, underground rap beef has a way of making you think otherwise because Jesus, it gets brazen. Okay, so that was a bit wild, right? Let's turn it up just a little bit. Xavier So Bass is a New York rapper and producer who co-produced a song with a dude named Perk 40 for an artist named Wildcar Uno. Now Wildcar Uno and Jace don't like each other. It's very clear that these two don't like each other. So on the song, he makes a wild statement about Jace's kids. 
and that's already a no-no. You don't mention people's kids, but y'all know how the underground is. There's no rules, no standards, no morals. And there was supposedly a post that Xavier had co-signed, which Jay saw as a line that was crossed and disrespectful. So he decided to pull a full court press and dropped into Xavier's DMs and then Xavier will post it on his IG as well. Then while Jace was on IG Live, Xavier will pull up and let's just say it got toxic. Yo, dude, bro, I wanted to talk to you. I don't want to talk. Then why'd you add me? Because the fuck you want to say? I like to bro, I wanted to argue. Wanted... I like to I argue. I could tell, I, 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 I could tell. I could tell. Um, I just wanted to ask you, what's your big problem with gay people? I got kids. It's like you are the reason I gotta homeschool my daughter in two months. Well, I mean, what does, what does, what does, what does me, what does me being bi have to do with your kids though? You being bi don't have nothing to do with my kids. See, first you fucking with niggas that spoke on my babies. Second, you produced a song where niggas said he would throw my babies in the trash. So let's get that out the goddamn me. Wait, little bro, what you talking about? Nigga Second said, of all, nigga, low, bro. that nigga, don't have shit to do with me. That hold on, shut the up. That hold on, shut the. That right, don't back, have back, shit. Hold on, shut the fuck up. That don't have shit. Hold on, shut the fuck up. That don't have shit to do with me. What you got going on, you, but it's the simple fact that it be niggas like you blowing up. What happened to Tupac and Eminem? Now we rapping about taking dick in the butt. This comes from being about Jace being upset about his kids being mentioned to Xavier being of the LGBTQ community. If y'all don't know, Xavier is bi. Yeah, now over here, we are cool with everybody. You do what you do. As long as you're happy and you feel comfortable in your own skin and comfortable with your own identity, that's what truly matters, y'all. And last and certainly not least, we're going to talk about one of the more brazen ones where it really gets real. Okay, so there's a dude named Twisty P who was at one point a former baseball player. Twisty made a terrible diss track, which included the names of a whole bunch of other underground rappers. including Jace, and Jace just basically said, you know what, it's time to gather the jumping league. He got Desire, Big 40 Thrax, and TSM BZ, and they decided to run down on him in December of 2021 and jump him. F you Where are you going, Running like a little then he would jump on live with Jason Cancan -Can as Jason Cancan -Can were just sitting there and chilling. And Jace was just sitting there cracking jokes. Real talk. Yo, y'all some on my mama, bro. Y'all some bitch. Yeah, look at y'all. Uh, some bitch, bro. Real demon time, and boy. Real demon, boy. Some bitch. All my mama, all your fears are dead. That's why I'm viral. I'm more viral than all of you guys. All of you. More viral than all of you. And you'll ever be, boy. And that does it for underground rap beefs that I know fairly well. Let's just say things can get heated real quickly. And I hope y'all see just what I mean by this entire video. Just straight black Air Force activity. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always... Stay snazzy, folks.